Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, got a cool episode for you today. Hopefully something uh, put a smile on your face and make you feel good about your plight. Um, I accidentally bought a vehicle. Um, yes, accidentally is true. I was showing one of my friends how to use Copart, how to use one of the auction brokers. And he asked, well, how do I know when I'm bidding? And I pulled up an, an auction, an active auction I was watching actually. And, you know, picked the vehicle I, I would consider owning, a nice one, but something definitely I didn't plan on purchasing. And I clicked bid and I said, well, see, now you see that it comes from the state of Oregon. It's not actually, you know, coming from our state here in Utah because it's a broker. And he's like, oh, that's cool. And the timer kept going and going. I'm like, yeah, someone will bid it up. It'll be fine. No one bid it up. It was a pure sale. I won the vehicle um, a lot less than I anticipated a car like this would ever go for, especially in a market like Utah. Um, you know, out of the gate, the vehicle looks really like a really good shape. Um, we'll see today. Like I'm going to go, I'm going to pick it up at Copart right now. I don't know if you can uh, see this, but I've got a, a tow dolly behind me. I'm um, in my little uh, Colorado again, just beating the living crap out of this thing, towing vehicles much larger than itself. Um, but hey, it is what it is. So excited to show you guys this vehicle and uh, hopefully uh, when we get there, it's not gonna be closed. So uh, stick around and see what I've brought to the channel. It's big dog. What are we doing? Buying a new car today? What are we gonna get? Are we gonna get an outdoor car? You could stick your head out the window, huh? Where's the new car? Where is it? Where is it? Look out the window. In a half mile, take exit 349 for Utah 134 toward far west Pleasant View. Where's the car? Where's that? Where's the new car? Okay, we ready for it? The big reveal? The next car to come on the channel? See if we can't get this one fixed. Something I've always wanted. Again, I accidentally bit on this thing. But who knows, man, the universe is a crazy place. I've always wanted one of these Jeeps. It was a fantastic deal, like killer deal. Like I can't wait to start digging it apart to figure out why you got such a good deal on it because nothing in this world is for free. So there's, there's, always, there's always something. So we're gonna dig into this and see a little bit better what we can do to get it fixed. Uh-oh, did you see it? Those of you that know vehicles is like, yeah, I know exactly what it is. All right, guys, this is a 2008 Jeep Cherokee or Cherokee Jeep Wrangler Sahara edition hey, yes it is 2008 so it does have a 3.8 motor so strike one um, little front-end damage on the vehicle not too bad though I did get one of the frame mounts but uh, I've seen those you can get those sawed off and uh, get those welded right back on a little bumper little bumper damage but not bad little front end but suspension everything seems to be intact uh, skid panel so it looks like the the damage was really just concentrated in this area these fenders are a dime a dozen looked underneath doesn't look like any structural door body lines everything is still still lined up really well so overall in great shape and one of the things that you know you look at these jeeps see if they've been abused is anytime the vehicle's off-roaded this part will get torn off the exit angle from these from the factory is not that stellar. The bottom of the hitch is not even scratched up. So these guys haven't even gotten serious in this thing. A little bit of dirt underneath, but uh, maybe some dirt roads, but no big gouges or scratches in any of the pans. Inside, she is a little dirty. So I'm gonna have to do some scrubby scrub on that. The carpet kits for these things are, you know, dime a dozen. Smells great, no smoker, nothing. Um, Copart did claim this ran and drove, but I could not get it to jump start. It just sat there and clickety, clickety, clickety. So if you guys have any ideas of what happens with that, I uh, thought it was my battery pack dying. I pulled my truck up, still could not get that started. So it just turns on and just clicks, clicks, clicks. So anyway, overall in really good condition, I'm gonna have to definitely do some, some spot cleaning on it, but everything works, everything functions well. Look at that door stays up by itself so probably hasn't been open the whole time the tailgate is still in great shape everything is in really good shape in this vehicle um haven't checked to see if i have all my accessories here yet but uh it's got the xfinity upgraded sound system uh xfinity speakers in the bar and in the front so 
yeah, really excited to start this one. And let's hope this one uh, goes better than the last couple. You know, maybe I can uh, break even or make a little bit of money on this. So anyway, here we go, guys. 2008 Jeep Wrangler Sahara Edition. Oh yeah, 120,000 miles on the odometer. Um, you know, if I were a betting man, I would say that was most likely uh, a lot of highway miles because this thing has not seen a lot of off-road to be honest with you so anyway came with a nice set of wheels and tires rubber is you know it's okay probably half left but uh these wrangler dura tracks that is a really nice tire so it's definitely going to need a bath and and some love but I, I think with a couple thousand dollars we can get this thing fixed up anyway thanks everyone for checking out the channel today uh make sure and subscribe turn on your post notifications when um you know, so you know when I drop a new video. And then, um, yeah, leave me any comments, uh, any suggestions, call me a fool for what I'm doing. But at the end of the day, man, this has been a lot of fun uh, tearing apart vehicles. I've had the kids out, I've had the wife helping me, friends. So it's just created this really cool kind of experience for me. You know, I have a day job where I sit in front of a computer all day. So get out and turn wrenches. Uh, I guarantee it'll change your life. So anyway, thanks and uh, signing off for now. Have a great day.